We look down from up high, Karaoke Arena 2, at the mat that will decide the gold and silver medals for the men in the 90 kilogram division. Will it be going to Japan or will it be going to Georgia? Two fighters here who have gone Ippon after Ippon the whole way through these campaigns for the two of them. Valam Lipartigliani of Georgia, the number three in the world there. He was just outstanding from start to finish. You could say no one's got near him. And Baker Masu, well, you could also say he's been even better, the number one in the world, the favourite going in. It's hard to, to know how they've done it. They've been so good. They can't both win the goal. No, they can't, but uh, it's going to be one match this is. This is going to be great because Lipitiliani is on the best form that I've seen him. Uh, and so is Baker, because Baker, Masu, has won Ippon all the way. I think Lipitiliani has won one Ippon all the way. And it just is going to be one hell of a match. It's going to mean who can dig deepest, who wants it the most, and I think that's going to decide the gold medal. Well, going into these games, the man in white had only lost one of his last 30 bouts, so it's now one of his last 34 bouts that he has lost. He's been that good, Baker Masu, the 20-year-old, 21-year-old from Japan. And the man from Georgia, he is 27 years of age, so more experienced, but perhaps not more talented, these two so evenly matched. Japan in white, Georgia in blue to decide the gold medal in the men's 90 kilogram division here in Rio. This is going to be a beautiful battle between Baker and Lipitiliani. Well, Baker knows that uh, that unusual form from Lipitiliani, that right hand over the top there, that's where he throws from Lipitiliani. He doesn't need the inside lapel grip. So He's got to just make sure that he kills everything dead. As soon as Lipitiliani starts to take the hips across, he's going to stop it. Look at that. He's straight down on his hands and knees there, Baker. He's going to probably get a penalty for that if he does it again, for sure. And the referees are going to give them, well, the benefit of the doubt. Oh, Uchi Gary there from Baker. So Baker almost taking Lipitiliani down with an inside foot sweep. He's been on the mat just 10 minutes, 10 minutes and 30 seconds in his four matches to make it through to the final. Unbelievable from Baker Masu. And he want to do this quickly as well if he can, but a much tougher opponent here, the Jordanian. This is for gold, of course. You can see the strength of the young man there pulling him down and he quickly gets into defensive pose. Olipatiliani, he's not gonna give anything away. How are they going to score? Well, I don't know. Lipitiliani is the one now that's going to have to attack because it's been all Baker. Baker now attacking on the inside. Baker, another strong attack from him. Lipitiliani's got to fire back. Lipitiliani's about one attack away from a penalty. We'll change things up if there is a penalty, of course. His father... American, his mother Japanese, Baker Masu, not your traditional Japanese judoka, but boy, he is dynamic. Well, they're both dynamic, and, and that's why it's a great tactical fight in some ways. Everybody's wanting to see how this unfolds, and I think that what will happen is that it will unfold with one of them taking a chance. I think. Baker, if, he, if this goes into the later, um, uh, the later time, and it goes into golden score or towards golden score, well, like I said before, Baker really is a dig-in athlete. Well, we're a long way from that now. Just over three minutes remaining. Maximum efficiency, minimum effort. That's what. This sport of judo is about, but right now in a gold medal game, it's about leaving nothing on the floor, just giving it everything you've got, but always on the lookout for what your opponent has got. Chess on legs, it's called. The tactics 
are amazing. And these guys, as they attempt to grip up, they know what they want to do. They've got half an eye or more on what their opponent wants to do. Sweeping the legs. He's taken him down. He's taken him down, Baker Masu. The score goes his way. He has the minor Yuko score, and that's where it ends for now. Big move. That was amazing. He just drove. He, he's actually, he's been feeding that leg through all the time, and, well, he showed it to Libertiliani so many times. He hooks in with the leg, he drives off the back leg, and uh, drives his opponent backwards. Scores with it all the time, and he can change it to a forward technique as well. Here's a Yuko up. Lipatiliani has to come back. Still, Lipatiliani hasn't won a major world event. Is he going to do it here? He's got to come from behind, and look at that. Baker, he's going ahead of this match, starting to climb ahead of Lipatiliani. Three minor medals he has at world championship level. The man from Georgia and, of course, the 21-year-old from Japan. Who knows where his career will finish up. He'll be big in Tokyo, we know that, but he's been enormous here in Rio. He has the lead. He has the one judo, one Yuko score in this judo final that has now got less than one minute, 45 seconds in it. Yeah, and uh, like I said before, he's going to be defensive. He knows that Libertiliani can throw, but he can pull it out from anywhere. Baker, he's got good def defense as well. He can't afford to go on the defensive now. He is an attacking fighter. He just needs to give it his all for one and a half minutes, and he will be Olympic champion. Giving away 10 centimeters in reach. The Japanese fighter, his Jordanian opponent, and he gets down low. He'll try to go now. Down on one knee, can't do so. Force back up. So much strength there from Lipatiliani. Pulls the right hand out, goes over the top. He's got a grip on the, the Japanese judoka who goes to ground and may receive a penalty for that. The minute he felt that contact, he had one thing in mind. Is that how he's called it? Yes, yeah. the penalty does go against Baker. I didn't think it should have done, actually. I, I thought he actually did an attack off it, but uh, it obviously wasn't enough. So they're trying to get him to attack. Obviously, Baker's into defensive mode, and there's a good attack this time. Oh! And he doesn't land on his side, so no score given. So Baker's got to concentrate here. 51 seconds, and Lipatiliani's going to come on strong. Concentration, one thing he hasn't lacked. He hasn't been this deep into any of his bouts, of course. Two minutes in five seconds in the round of 32. Two minutes 10 in the round of 16. 158 in the quarterfinal. And he went four minutes and 18 seconds into the semi-final before beating Cheng, the excitement machine. A chance here for these two. They've been asked to just redress with 51 seconds to go. They've had a chance to think about it now. And of course, the scoreboard really tells us what's going to happen. Lipantiliani really has to come. He really has to come hard. This is for gold, for Olympic gold. You don't hold back. No, and the thing is about uh, Baker. Baker digs deep. That's what he does. He does that better. I mean, he has finished his contest early, but when it comes to really digging, he digs deep. Now look at this. He's going to waste some seconds down here. He's going to attack, and he, may, he must make it look progressive here. Is he going to go onto the arm? Every second counts now to Baker. Lipatiliani wants to stand up. He's going to come on. Here he comes. Lipatiliani will throw the arm over, and Baker is now running. 15 seconds to go. Baker Masu of Japan. He has the lead. One hand on the goal, two hands on the judogi of his opponent. He wants to hang on. He's happy to take a penalty because he's got a couple up his sleeve. He'll try to hold on to the sleeve of the opponent because the second penalty doesn't matter. The Jordanian comes at him. He can't catch him. He's done it, the fabulous Baker boy. He has won gold. Have a look at that. What a magnificent achievement. Baker Masu, gold for Japan in the men's 90 kilogram class. Dominant right throughout the day. He deserved that and he has it. That was amazing. Baker, he was my, uh, he was my choice for the day. And well, he just did everything right all the way through. And still Lipatiliani has to win a major world event. Gold medal to Japan and silver medal. You do lose, but you still win in Olympic competition.
Valam Lippin Tiliani of Georgia, the 27 year old, takes the silver, but this 21 year old, well, how many golds will he end up with?